Steve Patterson here from Photoshop Essentials. In this video, I show you how to add rounded corners to your image with Photoshop. I also show you how to add a border around the image, and at the end, I cover the most important step, which is how to save the image with the transparency in the corners. I'm using Photoshop 2024, and you will need a recent version to follow along. And I'll use this image from Adobe Stock. Start in the Layers panel, where the image is on the background layer, and click the lock icon to unlock it. Photoshop renames the layer Layer 0, and the lock icon disappears. Then select the Rectangle tool from the toolbar. If another shape tool is visible, click and hold on its icon, and choose the Rectangle tool from the list. In the Options bar, click the color swatch for the stroke, and set the color to None which turns the stroke off, and click anywhere in the tab area to close it. Any fill color for the shape will work, so I'll leave mine set to black. Also in the options bar is the corner radius option, where we can enter a size for the corners before drawing the shape, but leave it set to zero, because we'll round the corners later. Then click and hold in the document and drag out your shape. Don't worry about the size or position of the shape, because we'll resize it next. In the Layers panel, the shape is added on its own shape layer above the image. Before we resize the shape, let's center it on the canvas. Click the Path Alignment icon in the Options bar. Change the Align To option from Selection to Canvas. Then click on Align Horizontal Centers and Align Vertical Centers. And click in the tab area to close it. And now that the shape is centered, we can resize it from its center by holding the Alt key on a Windows PC or the Option key on a Mac and dragging the handles. Notice the circles in each corner of the shape. These are the corner radius controls. You can round the corners just by dragging them. And all four corners are rounded by the same amount. So it doesn't matter which circle you drag, all corners are rounded together. Another way to round the corners is from the Properties panel, where you can use the Corner Radius options. And this way is great when you know the exact radius value you need. You can enter a value for the corner in the top left, top right, bottom right, and bottom left. To set the radius for all four corners at once, first make sure the link icon is selected. Then enter a value for one of the corners, and press Enter or Return on a Mac, to set all four to the same value. Instead of rounding the corners together, you can also round them individually. And the easiest way is by holding the Alt key or the Option key on a Mac, and then dragging the circle for the corner you want to adjust. So if I want the top right corner to be sharp, I can hold Alt or Option, and then drag its circle all the way up and into the corner. You can do the same thing from the Properties panel. If I want the bottom left corner to also be sharp, I just need to unlink the corners and then enter a value of zero. I'll press enter or return, and now I have two sharp corners and two rounded corners. But notice that if I now drag a circle without holding the Alt or Option key to round all four corners together, the corners that were sharp are still less rounded than the others. I'll reset the corners so they're all back to being sharp, and then I'll drag a circle to round all of them by the same amount, which is usually what you want. So now that we've rounded the corners of the shape, we need to move the image into the shape, and we can do that using a clipping mask. Back in the Layers panel, drag the Image layer above the Shape layer. Then click the Layers panel menu icon and choose Create Clipping Mask. And this places the image inside the shape, which makes it look like the image itself has rounded corners. And everything outside the shape is now transparent. Now, even with the image inside the shape, you can still adjust the corners. Just reselect the shape layer. As long as you still have the rectangle tool active, the circles will reappear, and you can adjust them until you're happy with the results. To view your image without the shape controls in the way, select the image layer. And to bring the controls back, select the shape layer. Before we go any further, let's trim away the transparent areas around the image that we don't need. 
since all we really need is the transparency in the corners. So go up to the Image menu and choose Trim. In the dialog box, choose Transparent Pixels and make sure all four options at the bottom are selected and then click OK. And we're left with just the transparency in the corners. At this point, the main effect is done and I'll show you how to save the image in a moment. But first, let's look at how to add a border around the photo. To do that, select the shape layer in the layers panel. Then click the effects icon and choose stroke. In the stroke options, click the color swatch. Then choose a color for the stroke from the color picker. I'll choose white and click OK to close it. Make sure the position of the stroke is set to inside, then drag the size slider to set the width of the stroke. Click OK to close the dialog box and we have our border around the image. I'll hide the shape controls by selecting the image layer. Finally, to save the image and keep the corners rounded, we need to save it in a format that supports transparency. The JPEG format won't work. Instead, we need the PNG format. So go up to the File menu and choose Save a Copy. Make sure you choose Save a Copy, not Save As. Then navigate to where you want to save the file and change the file type to PNG. Give the file a name. I'll name it Rounded Corners and then click Save. In the Format options, I always choose the smallest file size and then click OK. It may take some time to save depending on the size of your image, but you now have the image with the transparent corners that you can place on any background you like. And there we have it. That's how to add rounded corners to your image with Photoshop. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Photoshop tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I'm Steve Patterson from Photoshop Essentials.